Welcome to Phil's Tech Help, and today I'm going to be showing you guided access. I'm going to use Safari for an example. So we're going to triple click the home button, and the app zooms out, and now we can select the areas we would like to disable. We can also disable motion and touch. And let's go ahead and start this thing. So now you can notice that areas are disabled. So I disabled all the buttons so they can only stay in the web page. So when I tap on something, it just doesn't tap. But there is a bug. If I scroll down and quickly tap before the area is covered, I can still type everything and get out of the web page. So Apple does need to fix this because all it is is just a covered up area. On the other hand, this feature is good to make kids not leave tests. So if I tap the home button, it won't let me leave Safari. And then if I triple tap the home button, I have to enter my password before I can edit the changes. So it's pretty useful when taking tests, but it does have a few bugs that Apple still needs to fix. It's a really nice feature, and it's coming in iOS 6 later this fall. Thanks for watching, and I have more iOS 6 videos on my channel.